In this video, we'll learn how to find unknown angles using the cosine rule. Now, to begin with, let's just remind ourselves of the formula. So, let's start off by drawing the generic triangle here, which we'll label the usual way A, B, and C, with side lengths A, B, and C. Now, for a second, let's just assume that we're looking for this angle A here, which would be this interior angle that I'm highlighting right now. Then what the cosine rule tells us is that A is equal to the inverse cosine of B squared plus C squared minus A squared, all of that divided by 2 times BC. Now let's stop a second, make a note of that, and let's just try and understand what this formula is actually telling us. The angle we're looking for, remember, is the interior angle at A. Relative to A, the side lengths B and C are adjacent to that angle. In other words, they're right next to it. And the angle A is opposite the side length A. So what this formula is actually telling us is that to find an angle A, we have to calculate the inverse cosine of the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides, so in this case B squared and C squared. And from that we have to subtract the square of the opposite side length, in this case A, and we divide all of that by two times the product of the two adjacent sides, which are B and C here. A quick check you can always make when you're actually using this formula is that we tend to forget which side goes where. The two adjacent sides, B and C, and B and C, are always the first two terms on the numerator and the only two terms on the denominator. Another way of thinking of it is that the a squared term here, the a always corresponds to the side length directly opposite the angle we're looking for. In other words, we have a capital A here, which is the angle, so I know that inside this formula I'll be subtracting a squared. Now, let's just go ahead and first of all understand what we need to use this formula. What's the minimum information we'll need? And we'll just write this, what we'll need. So that's what we'll need to use the cosine rule to find an unknown angle. Well, this is actually quite, quite simple. To use the cosine rule to find an unknown angle, we'll need all the side lengths. And this is actually quite convenient, because it's relatively easy to remember that. And basically, as soon as we see a triangle in which we have no interior angle, but we are asked to find one of the interior angles, then provided we have all three side lengths, we can go right ahead and use the cosine rule to find the interior angles. So, let's go ahead and see how this is done. Let's say we're given this triangle. and we're told that this side length is 6, this side length is 11, and this side length is 14. And we're asked to find this interior angle, which we'll call M. Now, looking at this triangle, we can see that we're not given a single interior angle. And we can also see that we're given all three side lengths. This means that we can use the cosine rule. So remember that. As soon as you're looking for an interior angle, but you don't have any other interior angles in the triangle, then provided that you have all three side lengths, then right away go ahead and use the cosine rule. We can go ahead and write m is equal to the inverse cosine of the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides. So that's 
11 squared plus 14 squared minus the square of the opposite side, which is 6 squared, divided by 2 times the product of the adjacent sides, which are 11 and 14. Now this, of course, you would use a calculator for. So if you want, press pause, spend a second just to calculate everything inside that inverse cosine, and calculate m. Rounding our answer to one decimal place, we find m is equal to 24.2 degrees. And that's to two, apologies, that's to one decimal place. And there you go. We've just calculated one of the interior angles of this triangle using the cosine rule. Let's look at another example. Let's say we're given the following triangle. A side length 6, a side length 8, and a side length 10. And we're asked to find this interior angle, which we'll call Q. Now once again, this fits the cosine rule criteria, I should say, perfectly. We can see that we don't have any of the interior angles, but we do have all three side lengths. So to find Q, we can use the cosine rule. And we can go right ahead and say that Q must equal to the inverse cosine of the sum of the squares of the two adjacent sides. So in this case, the adjacent sides are 6 and 10. So that's 6 squared plus 10 squared minus the square of the opposite side, which is 8 in this case. So minus 8 squared divided by 2 times the product of the adjacent sides. So that's 2 times 6 times 10. And once again, if we use our calculator for this and we round to one decimal place, we find that Q is equal to 53.1 degrees. And that's rounded to one decimal place. And there you have it. That's how you use the cosine rule to find unknown angles in a triangle.